This video is on solving compound inequalities. Um, a compound inequality, this is going to be your AND and your OR inequalities. Um, an OR inequality, if you look at this one on the right, you see the word OR, they make it very obvious how to spot an OR inequality. Um, your AND inequalities, every once in a while you'll see them write out the word AND, but otherwise typically they look like this one on the left. You notice we have three sections. You've got your section on the left, in the middle, that's where you'll find the variable, and then your section on the right. Our goal in solving this compound inequality is to get the x alone, and so we go to the middle and just we undo whatever's happening in here with x. When solving any equation or inequality, you start by undoing addition or subtraction, so that plus 1, we're going to subtract 1 to make that cancel. Now the thing we have to remember is if you're subtracting 1 in the middle, you do have to subtract 1 on the right and on the left. Um, you should see your math that you're doing in three different spots as you go along and solve for x. All right, negative 8 minus 1 is a negative 9. Bring down our less than. We're down to just the 3x inside now. It's less than or equal to 15. Now 3 is being multiplied by x in the middle, so we'll undo that by dividing by 3. Remember, we divide by 3 in the middle, on the right, and on the left. So your 3's cancel, and we end up with a negative 3 is less than x, which is less than 5. This is ready to go on a graph. Just pay attention to, um, oops, less than or equal to. Did you see what I just did? This, make sure we're very careful, gets traveled down there. All right, here's my negative 3, 0, 5. And we need some circles. At the negative 3, because x is greater than a negative 3, you're going to use an open circle on the negative 3. And then x is less than or equal to the negative 5, so that's your closed circle. Alright, so for the shading, if you just take a look at this part on the right, x is less than or equal to a 5. That means we're going to shade the less than side of 5, so heading to the left there. But then if we look at this other one, x is greater than or equal to that negative 3. And that means we're going to shade on the greater side. And your and inequalities, this is what they're going to look like. The shading is going in toward each other. Because you're shading everything in between the negative 3 and the 5. Alright, so this or inequality over here, you've got your two sections, um, your two separate pieces. We're going to solve those separately. So first... Um, undo any addition or subtraction, so we're going to subtract 6, and our 6 is cancel. We bring down a negative n is less than negative 8, and when we have a negative variable like this, we don't want to leave it negative, so go ahead and throw a 1 in front of it, and now it looks like we're multiplying n times negative 1, which means we have to divide both sides by the negative 1. So that's how we end up with a positive variable, but hopefully you have red flags going off in your head because we just divided both sides of an inequality by a negative value, so that means we flip the inequality. Now it's going to be greater than 8. Bring down your or, and then we just go to the sep other piece and do this one separately. Um, okay, we're going to divide by negative 3, divide by a negative 3, and we have n is, I think, we just divided by a negative number, so we're going to flip our sign, and we're going to pretend that I did this right the first time. We're going to use the original sign that was there. Sorry about that. Um, mm -hmm. So we divided both sides by the negative 3, negative 3, it flipped our sign. So now we're less than negative 9 divided by negative 3 is a positive 3. So when we graph this, we have a 3 and an 8. And we pay attention to our um, shading, or I'm sorry, our circles. On the 8, you need an open circle. On the 3, you need an open circle. So open circle on the 3, open circle on the 8. And then it says that n is greater than 8. So that means we're going to go greater than 8. We're going to shade to the right, the greater side. All those values are greater than 8. It also says that n is less than 3. So we're going to shade to the left because those are all the values that are less than 3. And that's what your OR inequalities will look like.
So and inequalities shade in toward each other or inequalities will shade out.